Basically, this message that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is, um, it's a very stern message. This is a, this is a very, this might be a core shaking message for you. Um, and, uh, also a stern warning. But it has to be heated. I don't know how many, I mean, this might take a while to uh, finish up, but this is probably going to be quite lengthy. Usually I always say, it's, you know, when I put messages out, it's usually about five videos long, and sometimes it gets a little longer, depending on uh, how the flow of things go here. <laughs> you know, but uh, this is going to be basically a message of drunkenness. Now, I'm not saying drunkenness as in physical drunkenness, even though, yeah, that's, you know, that's just as bad. Um... You know, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with having a drink once in a while, you know. I mean, I, you know, I, I do have a cold one here and there, but it's very few and far between. But, but what I'm talking about is spiritual drunkenness or spiritual blindness. Kind of goes along the lines of that. It's kind of like the same thing. And this is what we see going on in the world. This is what we see going on in our churches. And, uh... That is what we see that is going to be a big player in the times just ahead of us that are etching oh so closer and closer. And uh, I see it every day. Um, and I'm pretty sure many of you watching and uh, many of you like minded believers see the same thing too. So basically, this is what this is going to be about. And I am going to get started here. We're going to start off in Revelation 18. And I'm going to read 18, chapter 18, verses 1 through 3. And it states, And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with glory. 
And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen, fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Um, I really want to concentrate on verse 3 here. Because this ties into a lot of scripture that I'm going to be sharing with you. Basically what we have here is a state of sleep. It's a state of blindness. Um, you know, there, we as a whole, you know, this false church... The people that live for this world, they are blind. They are drunk. They are spiritually drunk. They stagger around. They worry about this and that. You know, fancy TVs, movies, video games. And the same thing follows as the church goes. So we read in uh, Isaiah, or Jeremiah 51, I'm sorry. I'm going to start off in 37. Jeremiah 51, verses 37. Babylon shall become a heap, a dwelling place for jackals and astonishment, and a hissing without an, without an, an inhabitant. They shall roar together like lions, they shall growl like lions' whelp. In their excitement I will prepare their feasts, I will make them drunk, that they may rejoice, and asleep, a perpetual sleep, and not awake, says the Lord. There's going to be a covering. There's going to be a covering over the wicked. Their hearts are going to be hardened. They're being made drunk. Meaning they don't see the perpetual light that can be in front of them if they take up the cross. And this will be their undoing if they remain caught up in this system, in this world. In your workplace, wherever you may be, you gotta remember we are very few in number. Isaiah 29, 29 verse 9, Stay yourselves and wonder, cry ye out and cry, they are drunken but not with wine, they stagger but not with strong drink, for the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and hath closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, the seers hath he covered. You hear the prophets, you hear the people warning. You hear the people giving you warnings, you hear the watchman on the wall giving warnings, and yet people just sit there and they say, oh, this is just hogwash, this is just doom and gloom, this ain't nothing. Everything's fine, everything's okay. Just remember, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. You know, this is pretty serious matters, and I'm not going to dog anything here. What I'm reading to you is the uh, outcome, if you don't get yourself right with God, and repent, and turn away. Stay tuned for the next video.